everyone. Um, I just wanted to give a quick update, or as quick as I possibly can, because you know how Gabby I get. Um, I got home from the hospital yesterday. Well, it was before dinner. I don't remember exactly what time. Uh, we came straight home. I didn't feel like going to see anyone in Texarkana or stop by and pick up any more of my junk that really needs to be moved over here. I've got to get everything over here at the new apartment. We just came straight home. Well, we stopped and got Sarah McDonald's for dinner and because uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to be cooking. Anyway, and just, you know, whatever. Um, kind of checked over Facebook, checked over YouTube, looked at some videos, and went to bed before 8 or right around 8. Uh, uh, also, if you look, which a couple of you I know did, uh, at my last two videos that I had made in the hospital, um, keep in mind that I was there for pain control as well as some, uh, you know, testing. I'm not going to go into great detail, but um, I noticed when I re-watched the videos that I looked really high, and I probably was. Um, so, just excuse that. I am not, that was in hospital. In my real life, um, I do not do drugs. I do medications that are prescribed and I take them exactly how they are prescribed. I do not abuse the medication. But I just would hate for someone to look at a video and that happens to be their first one, for example, a new subscriber and say, man, she is high as a cat. But I was in the hospital, so that was the whole purpose. Um, I'm still not feeling that well. I, um, uh, I'm feeling better. Um, I am swollen everywhere. I, you know, I swear, every time I go to the hospital, they always give me fluids. They just do. It's just like mandatory. I don't know. Um, and it's almost a guarantee 8 to 10 pounds if I'm there 24 hours. It's the extra fluids. It's the diabetic uh, meals. Um, they're supposed to be... Uh, you know, they watch the carbs and this and that. But have you ever truly, I know other diabetics notice this, but on the meal trays, what do they almost always have in really crappy hospitals, which are almost every hospital? Uh, they have a rice dish or a potato dish or gravy, and you've always got that roll, which is so freaking good. Uh, you may have sugar-free jello. But you're going to have a roll, potatoes, rice, whatever, uh, biscuit with breakfast. And <laughs> look, unless you're going to starve while you're in the hospital, you're going to eat that stuff. And then they're like, why is your sugar 210 this morning? Well, I wonder. I just ate breakfast. But anyway, um, so that's also probably, but... Um, so, I'm, I'm like, for two days, I'm up like 15, 16 pounds, and I absolutely hate it. I hate it. Because for someone who is constantly dealing with weight issues and trying really hard to lose weight, one or two days in the hospital, now it's going to be days and days and days before that's gone. But I know, like I said, a lot of it's fluids. I don't know why I made this into uh, I gained a few pounds video. I apologize, but I'm feeling a lot better. Not a lot, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm at home. Uh, that makes me happy, and my arm is hurting. Sorry. Um, also, now I've got a shadow. This is my pillow. This is my bed. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, okay, I can't do this angle. Also, um, yeah. I'm going to have to cut that part out. Um, so, Sarah's dad is coming over this evening. Um, I'm trying to build myself up for that mentally. Um, because um, our town is having a little, 
fireworks thing, which is really awesome. I don't know if we'll be able to stay for it because of the noises and stuff, but she may be cool with all of it. I don't know. Um, but they are unpacked box. But they are uh, going to have live music that starts at 6. And she's never seen anything like that. And she really wants to go. So he's coming over and we're all going to... I'm hoping I feel a little better. Um, we're all going to hang out. Um, a little bit anyway. For the music. Maybe come back here and then go back. It's a mile from my house. So um, not far. But anyway, and then maybe go back for the fireworks, which are supposed to be at 9. So, um, so yeah, that's fun. Um, <laughs> it just, I, <clears throat> I have issues with my ex-husband. Um, and I'm praying really hard that I deal with him okay. Anyway, so whatever you're doing for the 4th, I hope you have a really good 4th of July. Stay safe. I don't think I have very many young people on my uh, subscribers list, but list my subscribers. But don't go crazy with the fireworks. I remember when we were kids acting stupid, stupid with the black cats. Y'all be careful. Don't blow fingers and other body parts off. And if you have to drink, don't drive. If you don't drink, be a designated driver. I'm having issues speaking. But anyway, y'all have a good fourth. And remember what the fourth is about. It's not just about having a beer and barbecuing. Um, okay. Well, I don't know. I keep looking out the window. Uh, it's a pretty day. Anyway, um, y'all take care. God bless. Bye.